News 46 is brought to you by Inspiration Senior Living, where we provide affordable elegance to Pahrump area seniors. Give us a call at 751-2300 and make an appointment to tour our community. News is also brought to you by Dr. George Leakes, Pahrump's optometrist since 1990, offering full spectrum eye care for children and adults. Call today, 727-8300. News is also brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law. Call 727-9900 today for your free consultation. If you need a lawyer, you need Nelson. Tonight on News 46, the world mourns in the aftermath of the Paris attacks. A presidential candidate is going to make a stop in Pahrump, and a ribbon cutting is held at a new store. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Deanna O'Donnell. News 46, local coverage you can count on. Good evening, it's Monday, November 16th, 2015. I'm Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. The Paris attacks that have killed at least 129 people in Paris have prompted raids and arrests in Europe and airstrikes in Syria. Nations around the globe have pledged their support as they find themselves at a heightened terror alert. ISIS has released a video promising more attacks. Three teams of terrorists staged coordinated attacks at six locations throughout Paris late Friday, including a concert hall, the Stage de France, and at least two restaurants. At least 352 people were wounded in the attacks, 99 of them seriously. Seven terrorists were killed. French fighter jets bombed a series of ISIS sites in Raqqa, Syria on Sunday in what officials described as a major bombardment. ISIS claims Raqqa as their capital. The targets in Sunday's airstrikes included a command center, a recruitment center, an ammunition storage base, a training camp for the terror group. Twelve aircraft, including ten fighter jets, were involved in the airstrikes. Twenty bombs were dropped. All of the targets were destroyed. At the same time, ISIS threatened the United States that it could be next, saying that they plan to strike in Washington, D.C. The U.S. flag is being lowered to half-staff at the White House, federal buildings across the country, and American military and diplomatic stations around the world as a mark of respect for the victims of the Paris attacks. In his proclamation, President Barack Obama says the terror attacks were an assault on all of humanity. He declared that our values will endure, that the United States and allies, as he put it, do not give in to fear, nor will be divided, nor will anyone change our way of life. Presidential candidate Ben Carson will be making a stop in Pahrump next Monday. Carson will be speaking at the event center at the Pahrump Nugget at 10 a.m. The public needs to arrive at 8 a.m. if they intend to be present for the event. The public should be prepared to pass through a security checkpoint if they want to attend. The Nye County Sheriff's Office has issued a release regarding the industrial fire we experienced on October 18th and 19th in Beatty, Nevada, at the U.S. Ecology Low-Level Nuclear Waste Site. Protective actions are being implemented by the state of Nevada Department of Health and Human Services in partnership with the new U.S. Ecology, Nye County officials, and the governor's office and other entities. On October 21st, a preliminary site investigation team entered the site to take photographs, measurements, and radiation readings in and around the trench site of the industrial fire. Soil and air test readings concluded that there were no abnormal readings for radiation. They have since covered the exposed barrels and plan to properly refill and reseal the decades-old material. It was decided a comprehensive assessment of the entire site is being planned and will be implemented in the near future. Additional partners have requested participation in this effort to better identify the contents of the site and ensure the continued safety of the site for the environment and the residents of Nye County and the state of Nevada. Big Cat Encounters conditional use permit was approved by the Regional Planning Commission. Carl and Kayla Mitchell, who own the sanctuary, had been battling for years to keep their animals on the property located on the north side of town. Mitchell was originally denied a conditional use permit to house his tigers and ordered by Judge Kim Walker to remove the 14 tigers or face jail time because Mitchell was not abiding by the county code for the zoning in the area and didn't have a conditional use permit for the animals. Walker said 
that he failed to comply with requests to voluntarily abate the so-called nuisance. Mitchell said the property's zoning should have been grandfathered in because it was a sanctuary before zoning was passed in 2007. News 46 will return in just a moment.